for about six months, my world kind of just collapsed around me. Um, I took some time off of work and really had to focus in on myself and my daughter and also preparing for my surgeries as well. Because um, it wasn't that long after I got my results that I had my surgeries. And then also having to deal with lockdown and COVID in the midst of it all as well. So there was a lot going on at the time. Um, lots of really big emotions having to kind of navigate through as well. I have a lot of hopes for Emma. Um, one of them being, of course, that she doesn't end up on the wrong 50% chance of getting the genetic alteration. But my hopes are that if she does fall on the other side, that there is going to be the support there, that there wasn't there when I went through my journey. But also, and I hold great hopes for this, that the amount of research that's going on in this medical world is so fast and is advancing so quickly that by the time that she becomes of age to be able to get tested, it'll be a completely different medical world for her and for anyone else who has to go through this journey as well. Whether that's the case that it then becomes not as big a deal as what it was when I went through my journey or that they have so many more options to choose from, I hold real great hope that that's what she enters if she has to go down this path as well.